Hi Gertie, I'm sitting here thinking I probably should have sat outside because the sun's shining and it's a lovely day and I've barely got any makeup on <laughs> and I'm thinking my hair is looking a bit like a helmet at the moment but ah uh, what the hell. Um, new blog, I've done a blog this week and it's about money of all things. I know I've talked a lot about um, emotions and feelings and putting yourself first and all those sort of things but money's been a bit of a uh, pain in my ass lately and I I know there are certain things I've, t I've told you about money and sort of what to do but I think it's it's seriously something that should be taught in schools and I think it's something they're, they're actually considering now because so many people don't know how to manage their money and I in fairness haven't got a clue how to manage money or how to save or I don't know I've I've sort of bumbled along for the last 31 years and made it work somehow because I've still got the house just about and but I've managed to build up debts uh, credit card debts and um, I'm trying to think my brain's gone gone blank as usual uh, yeah, I've got myself in a bit of a mess, basically, and I I don't regret it. It was it's been quite hard, like raising three kids as a single parent, and I've done everything I can to try and give you guys as much as possible. But and I know you haven't had everything, but I don't think you've done too bad. But I um, I've sort of shortchanged myself over the years. That's one of the things that I think I regret. Didn't mention that in the blog, but I. There are times that I've sort of put everybody else first, not just you, other people, um, just so that, I don't know, to see, show I'm a nice person. I don't really know why. I, I need to look into that. But I've been reading a book by Kate Northrop. It's called Money, A Love Story. And I, I, I'd already read it. I've read so many finance books and still can't seem to get straight. But I feel a little bit more determined at the moment to try and fix what I've made a mess of and get out of debt and there's a lot of stuff come up while I've been looking into it and things that I think I always thought that my dad was always the one in charge of money and always made a point of going on about money and that as though it was only his money and because mum didn't work very much it was always a bit of an issue in our house there was a lot of arouse around money so I think I, I personally have an issue in that Money is bad. I think money is bad. It causes problems. It causes people to be hurt and upset. So I think I've done everything I can to just get rid of it. So lo lots of stuff has come up for me while reading this book. But I decided to go back to basics. And that's why I wanted to talk to you. Because I, I don't want you to get in the mess I've been in. I don't want you to get to this point if you can help it. You're still young and... I mean, I'm 50 and I'm, I'm going to go again. I'm going to get up and go again. And some of these things, um, talking about money, has also made me realise that I need to try and do as much as I can for my health, which I am doing. I'm. There are times I've sort of felt like giving up, and I'm sure there still will be times I feel like giving up. But I, I'm a determined bugger, let's face it. Tenacious is always my favourite word. I'm, I'd say I'm fairly tenacious. I don't like to, I don't like to quit. And this is one thing with money. And I suppose the tips I want to give you, or the things I want to say, is take care of your money. Yes, spend. You know, have some of the things you want, but be careful what you're spending on, and notice whether or not you're spending because you're just fed up. Because that it comes back to bite you. It's stuff that I've done for years and years, and now I'm I'm at a point where I'm finding it hard to come back. I will. I'll find a bloody way because I always do. But um, it doesn't mean that you don't get the stress in between. I really, really don't need the stress right now. So what was I saying? Take care of your money. Spend when you want to, spend if you need to, you know, if there's stuff you need, then fair enough. But don't spend willy-nilly, don't don't buy stuff that you don't really need, and don't 
don't pay out on other people if you if you haven't got the money. That's something I've done a lot of over the years. I always think, oh, I'll pay for them, pay for them. And I haven't really had the money. And yet you don't get it back. <laughs> Quite often it doesn't come back. The, the, these people that you pay out on don't give it back. Because um, they're so used to taking it, I think. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I think they're just a bit more savvy. I don't know. I'm not very good at accepting gifts and money. Which is something else that you need to do learn to accept learn to accept gifts compliments anything to improve your self-worth because obviously that's something else to keep banging on about um kate northrop reckons that your worth and the money that you get are connected in that if you if you value yourself you will charge more you'll expect a better rate of pay at work Whereas if you don't, if you always think you're not worthy or not good enough, you won't. You'll always settle for just enough, won't you? Which I think is something I've done. Um, value yourself. So that that's something that's really important because, let's face it, Gertie, you've got everything. You've got what it takes. So, so value yourself and make sure that you get paid what you deserve or you earn what you deserve, whether you work for yourself or not. Um, I feel like I'm waffling as usual. <laughs> save, 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 save. I can't say that enough. Save money. But everybody, I, so many times I've had conversations with people over the years and they say, oh, well, we haven't got any extra money to save. We can't. I've said it myself so many times. There isn't any extra money and you always need it. Da, da, da. People who are good with money save and they keep saving and they keep saving. Sorry if you keep seeing lights flashing, I think it's cars driving by. Um, keep saving, save and then invest and save and then invest and invest some more because it'll keep growing. I know my dad, which I didn't know he'd managed to save such a lot of money, um, not that he's loaded or anything, but he managed to save a fair old whack of money and it's now helping him. In his retirement, he worked hard for it. He worked really hard for it, but now it's helping him in his retirement. He's got a nice little nest egg. So I wish I'd done the same. Save, save, so that you've got that, you know, that security. So I'm wobbling my laptop here. Save, so you've got the security. Save, and then invest it so that it keeps building and keeps growing and don't touch it have other savings for things like christmas birthdays holidays that's a separate thing but have savings that are life savings that are a security thing i mean worst case scenario at some point you think oh, i don't want to keep that saving you go on a world trip couldn't you, you know what i mean but but having that security it just means such a lot and trust yourself the other thing that I have regretted is I've listened to other people giving me advice about remortgaging the house and um, getting an overdraft. And I knew at the time, I knew my gut instinct was don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Did I listen? No, no I didn't because it was easy to just do it. It was so easy to do it that way. And this is the problem, it's so easy to just borrow money, so easy to just get another credit card, so easy to just fall into debt. And, you know, I know a lot of people say, oh, money is the root of all evil, and you can go through all these sayings, rich people are greedy and blah, blah, blah. I don't believe it, I don't believe it at all. We need money as much as we need air and food and because it's what we live off it's 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 the way we live today and you can't just exchange you've got a spare sheep in the garden that you can exchange with a neighbor of you anymore it doesn't work that way anymore so you need money and money isn't a bad thing it it's a good thing when it's used properly and a lot of rich people will pay out and give to charities and they give thousands and millions of pounds to charities nobody ever seems to pick up on those things they just always you know obviously made his money this way or she's got that because of her parents or whatever you don't know you don't know how hard somebody's worked so get to the point where you're financially savvy understand your money learn about money 
take the time to learn about money and find out how to invest and save your money because believe me on the other end is which is where I'm at now which is living on benefits obviously because of my health but if I'd have saved if I'd have looked after myself I might not have to be here so take care of your money and I'm running out of <laughs> again. Take care of your money, take care of you, and remember your value in the world. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there. I love you, Gertie. Bye.